What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be playing Murky. Now Murky just got a big rework and it buffed him unbelievably so much that they had to almost nerf him back into the ground. So now that they've kind of balanced him out, we're going to take a look at what he can do. I want to tell you guys that I'm going to go a certain build today, but actually I'm really loving the new Murky because of how dynamic he is and the different type of builds you can do for the levels you are on and the team comps you are against. You can go heavy CC Murky where you're octagrabbing people and you're going focusing on your slime and slowing people down. Or you can go Siege Murky, where you're March of a Thousand Murlocs, burning people down and focusing on other talents like that. So I'm going to go with the first game we get today. Uh, I'm not going to edit and play a bunch of games and, you know, see what we have to do till I win or something like that. We're going to go with the first one. We're going to get whatever build it throws at me and we're going to see what we can get done. So, Murky was one of my first level 10s, my first hard character that I learned. I love him. Um, so let's see what we can do. All right. Okay, guys. So, today we find ourselves on the Infernal Shrines. The ally team is Dibbles, Lieutenant Morales, Vala, Nova, and me is Murky. Enemy team is going to be Illidan, Nova, Arthas, Lucio, and Alarak. So, this is going to be interesting. As I was saying before, you're going to kind of want to pick, based on your map and your team comp, what kind of build you're going to go with Murky. Now, seconds. normally I like his, his CC lockdown slime build, but I think I'm going to go straight Four, DPS because this three, is a three lane. Two, um, one. Or sorry, straight siege. Because this is a three lane and because of the nature of the map. So, for level one, I'm going to take Egg Hunt. Now, it does allow us to place a maximum of three fake eggs around the map, which is not what Hawkslogs recommends, of course, but it gives us a lot of vision. Like, it's going to give us insight onto when people are coming up for us. It's going to give us insight, like, right here. Lucio's already on our shit. Let's slime him. I'll go over his kit in just a minute. So we're going to be putting a bunch of fake eggs all over the place. And if they destroy those fake eggs, then they, <coughs> excuse me, are going to explode and slime. Them. So this Lucy has been really aggressive with me so far. Nobody's he's going to fall for that fake egg, which it looks like he is. And he's going to get slime. We'll go ahead and use the healing cup. And we'll put another one up here. Just to get vision. Eventually they're going to realize what's going on and... and that we're not really there. But the main goal of Murky is really not to to get a lot of kills. It's to be a pain in the ass. The goal of Murky is to just annoy your enemy team so much that they want to focus on you because you're only worth 25% of a kill. So when they kill you, they get 0.25%. So anytime you can go one for one with them, it is 100% worth it. So going over his kit, his Q, which I'm about to pop, is an AoE slime. Damages, slows everybody else around him. His W, which I'm going to pop as well, is a Pufferfish. It's a very large AoE. It used to be smaller and you used to have to get a talent to increase its size. Ooh, okay, so that Nova took us out. Anyway, Murky's basic trait is that he respawns in just a few seconds. So as you can see, I'm already about to come up. We're going to head down. Now, the good thing about Murky is that he needs aggressive egg placement. So I should say the good thing, but... If you're good with Murky, you have massive aggressive egg placement. That is all that it's about. So you're going to grow some balls, and you're going to drop an egg in an uncomfortable location so that you can respawn and handle an objective. So we're going to drop one right fucking here. Right here. 16 to nothing. Fuck it. We're going to live in the dream. We'll explain that in a second. We're going to pop it out. We're going to get in there. Our team is not here. Okay. So his E is his bubble. It makes him invulnerable for two seconds, and he can fly away. Now, again, nobody has noticed that I'm here in this spot right here. So we're just going to sit, we're going to chill for a second. We're going to cast Pufferfish. We're going to come in, we're going to slime. This is lost. This, this objective is totally lost. He's done. He's going vulnerable. Let's come behind the wall. We're already leveled down. This is not a good sign. We're going to throw the egg back here. And then we are going to drop our puffer fish out here. We 
Okay, and we're just trying to slime people. Let's get, slow them down. Do a good job. Oh man, this is getting rough. I think we're in trouble here. Alright, so we have seven seconds until our egg respawns. Hopefully they do not kill it. Aggressive egg placement does have its risks and its rewards. Okay, so now my egg has been killed. So you see the exclamation point above my head shows that I am visible for now 13 well seconds. Heroes. This is a long time. We have slain the enemy's They're doing their thing. I'm going back top. So I need to be doing murky things. So as you can see, I already have 12,000 damage, which is more than anybody else on the friggin' game. So we need to go back to doing murky things. Let's do an aggressive egg right here. That way if we die, we're able to come and help out the team. We're going to drop a pufferfish. We're going to slime. We're going to take out pretty much an entire wall. So if they're focusing their their damage on bot lane, they're going to neglect the murky where we can shine. And we can get in here and we can do some shit. got a tower next is going to be okay so this is again very dynamic we're gonna go for our siege build so we are going to take increased slime radius which if you're going for your CC build you're gonna to want to take a time to krill which slows enemies with your basic attack very minimally but it does slow them don't kill my egg, bro. Don't kill my fake egg. That's gonna slime you. This shit. Okay, so we just got a little bit of damage by that. We'll go ahead and come up here and do this. Then we're gonna drop that egg. Another egg. That puffer fish is gonna do a ton of damage. Boom. Explodes right there. We're gonna come right back. Slow him. Prepare to activate. So again, we want a super close, super close egg on this one. Aggressive egg placement is fucking key with Murky. It is more than just key. It is life. Slime. Let's drop another egg here. Fake egg. We'll just make them have all the feels. We're going to drop puffer fish. Try to lure all these guys in here. Slime them so they explode and go boom. Kill this guy. Come on, team. Your spirit is strong. There we go. There we go. There we go. Another puffer fish. They're going to be too naive to try to damage it, so they're going to stand in it. Hopefully, just like he did, we're going to slow him again. There we go. Okay, the fact that I died does not matter because it's only 25% of a kill. So, right now we have three of them dead. We're leading in siege damage. I'm going to go do another lane. They should be able to mop this up on their own. Again, with another kill. I don't know why I didn't mount down there. Alright, we're going to clean this up. We're going to slime everybody. They're going to focus on us. And we're going to pop. We're going to do a bunch of siege damage. Ooh, they already got our bottom lane down. They obviously have a little bit better map control than we do as of now. Now, we're, we're not dealing with hardcore stuff yet. We did hit level 10 before then. We are going to take March of the Murlocs. On this one, which is not a favorite. It used to be until they nerfed it into the ground. Let's go bot lane. We're going to clean that up. I'm going to clean that up while everybody's focusing up top. Murky is doing murky things. We get them all focused on us and that tower. We're going to blow them up. And we're going to repel the wave. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go down, we're going to get some mercs. Now, you can say like, hey, you know, Baskets, why didn't you take the merc build? Like, the merc build is good, don't get me wrong, for Pirate Bay or something close to that. For this, you need to go straight siege. You need the numbers on the board. You need to be capping. So you can see my slam, or my slam, my, uh, my slime. It's already a lot better, and they're beginning to slip out of control because they're letting me do the shit that I shouldn't be allowed to do. Which is murky. They should not be letting me push uncontested. And they just killed two. But, let's see... If we can do some shit. Mark thousand dollars we're gonna blow that fucking horn, we're gonna go in there, and we're gonna fuck shit up. 
We're going to drop another pufferfish, which is going to start being attacked. We did manage to distract, which is something I'm still getting used to. The old murky, I couldn't. Alright, now they're, they're finally starting to send people down here to deal with me. So we're going to make him chase me. We're going to slow him. And it's fucking Lucio, so he's going to be able to keep up, but you know what? It ain't going to be no thing. So he got a kill on me. They are distracted from another lane for how long having to deal with me. It, it, it's a big deal. Okay, so we're going to go with Safety Bubble Heals for our level 13, which is going to further make us harder to fuck with. Um, when they come in, when they ignore me for so long, and they actually come in and do something, we're going to take care of these guys right here. Because it is burning down and nobody's paying attention to it. So, you know, Murky, you're, you're kind of just mopping up what everybody else is dealing with. There we go. He's done. Now we're going to actually push... Let's, let's drop an aggressive egg right here. Ooh, that's really aggressive for them being right there. Um, fuck it. Let, let's see if the aggressive murky egg pays off if we don't move this shit. Go ahead and throw that down. Climb him. Ooh, yeah, they, they are going to find that. They are for sure going to find that. So let's go ahead and before they can... Let's drop it back here. And let's drop a fake. And let's, yeah, pull a Nova and kill that guy. Come in here, we're going to throw our ship down. We're going to pop a fish. We're going to heal. Hopefully our thing will go off. Alright, and when we spawn again in just a second, we're going to march a thousand more these guys. Ooh, they're going to find it. Now they're being foolish. Okay, he is being smart. We're going to drop this before he can kill it. Shit. Okay, he did manage to kill it, which sucks. And none of our team is down here, which sucks even more. I don't know why we're... Alright, we are available to drop our thing now. They do have 10 left to get. We are probably going to lose this. Nova is all over my ass. Let's see if we can steal a bunch of kills here. There we go. Let's steal a bunch of kills. Our, our team is really not being aggressive. As he's going in. There you go. Take somebody out. Take somebody out. Good job. Good job. Good job. Four more. Four more. Oh, they got it. Our enemy has Damn. That was unfortunate. Um, because it was the arcane, which is the most important one out of here. But or Dibbles needs to get out of here. I don't know what he was even thinking. Let's see if we can time. Get out! What are you doing? So that was a really close objective. I don't know, I'm just gonna find uh, now the goal is to get him to actually jump over. Jump over to us so that all the towers can hit him. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. And eh, he's low enough. Let's just take him out. The enemy's punisher has been I'm going to go start grabbing some mercs. They should be as well. I'm going to affirm ping them. They can handle that perfectly on their own. They do not need me. We're level 16. The enemy team is level 14. We're going to go for... Cast... Oh shit. Cast slime at Bufferfish location. Just so we're slowing people down. We're doing shit. If we were doing the lockdown um, rock grab build, we would go for Wrath of Khan. Which would do an additional 10% damage. Drop a egg or an egg. Help him out. He doesn't seem very well suited. There's our team. And our team is again dead and nowhere to be found. 
Oh, shit. They're gonna kill my egg and they're gonna come after me. So, it's time to go. Time to go. I'm gonna slow you down, son. I'm gonna slow you down. Then I'm gonna juke you. I'm gonna juke you. Alright, so let's drop one back here. Not aggressive egg placement for the moment until we can find a better slot. Let's go top. Try to clear that out. The enemy team has much better map presence than we do. It is 19 to 19 on kills. I am leading, as you can see, in Siege and XP Contrib. Their Arthas has more XP Contrib than me, though, so he must be doing a good job. Another shrine will be active shrine coming up here. Not let our enemy claim it. So let's drop some fake eggs. We can have three, so let's drop three. We're being really ballsy here. This is some serious balls. But again, we're the only one up here. The enemy team and the rest of the team, or at least we can see, is fighting over shit in mid lane. So we're gonna drop this, we're gonna slime them, we pop, do some damage. There we go, we got 11 right there. Try to cap this for the team. Slime. Let's wait for the respawns. Try to gather them up. Then we throw our puppet fish down. We got two there. Right now, two. Yeah, I don't think they're going to have any chance of getting this one. 32. There we go. Now, they are all going to respond to this. So we are going to go mid lane. Again, doing murky things. Doing shit that annoys them that they shouldn't be looking for. So if they look at them, they go, oh shit, Murky's got fucking the whole lane pushing mid. We're, they're pushing top. What are we going to do now? Diablo is defending against some, some trash. Let's do this. This. Burn this fucking board down. Diablo needs to get his ass up there. He is the tank. He is not representing at all. Here we go. Come on. Hey, bitch. Our Punisher has hey, bitch. We're slower. And she's going to take me out. Okay, we came close. We're going to respawn. We're going to respawn up top, unfortunately. But we are going to go take that building out. That is happening. We're not going to let that stand. And, and I don't know why we're getting wrecked so bad. Without me there. I'm, I'm... Again, Nova's in the mid dealing with me. What is the issue here? So let's drop an egg. Actually, let's drop an egg. Let's drop a fake egg. Let's drop a fake egg. Shit. Alright, that's bad. Nova could very well find us. But it looks like she's a targ. We're going to sit still for a second. We're not going to leave. And we're going to go the other way. Another fake one here. So they, again, have total map control over us. No one is, is really doing anything other than me trying to grab Mercs. So it's same kill, same level. We are a bit ahead on bases. So here's where the March of a Thousand Murlocs at level 20 is going to shine. Where we can crack it forever. 
Um, so they should be able to handle that. It is three, or excuse me, two v five. So they should very well be able to handle that. I'm gonna go protect our tier two. It should be done. Come on. So again, just being annoying. Our it looks like. Just down, just again. Some more damage. Push it out. There we go. Looks like our mid lane is about to take out that tier one. Which I hope it does. I'm gonna take it out either way. I'm not gonna go with the team. A frozen punisher has joined us in battle, mortals. So here we go. We're about to get a big leg up right here. Alright. There we go. Climbing, hitting, it's down. They're all down there dealing with them, and I'm going to be up here gaining more XP and dealing with shit for us. Being fucking annoying. The entire goal is where they have to revert and... and, and bubble heal. Okay. Slime. Going one for one. Our Morales just died. That is not good. We're going to bubble. Puffer fish. I'll take out some towers here. go. No, but to the point where we have to pull somebody off. They have to come and deal with us. So now that we have a tier 2 down, now we're pretty much going to join them for the rest of the fight. And it looks like we're going to win this pretty easily with four of them down. And we're going to mark the Murlocs on it. So, dynamic game. You know, it wasn't the best you, one now to show, but it, it shows what you're supposed to do with Murky. You're not supposed to do that. 144,000, almost double. Almost double what the enemy team had done. Vala, 16 and 5. Holy crap. Yeah, she did an ass to the shit. Um, we're going to at least be on there. 37% yeah. of the team's structure damage. Pretty good. We'll vote for Vala because she got the MVP. But Murky's build will go over again in a second. He is so versatile. He. he and you got to build him based on the heroes you're playing against and the map you're on. So you can't just go with, well, like, I'm just going to build Murky this way every every single time. So we'll go over the sets again. Okay, 144,000 siege damage. Um, we did not lead in XP Contrib, which is a little surprising. We were second. Vala, with her kick-ass 16 kills, did that. The highest siege on the enemy team was 75. So almost double what their enemy team had, which really helped taking down towers and doing things talents egg hunt again egg hunt is not to slime it's not to do damage it's just to get vision on the map or vision around you to help protect you living the dream is a personal favorite of mine the longer you stay alive the more damage you do so up to 15 percent increased bonus damage black lagoon increases your slime radius by 30 percent helps you slow people down um hot slogs wants that where you hit them and it slows them yeah, but it's really small. I'd rather do the more damage to people and help the enemies secure the kills just by slowing them with that bigger radius when they're a little farther away from you. March of the Murlocs, which, as we all know, unleashes a bunch of baby Murlocs. It does damage. It slows people down. It's a lot better since they patched it. It is not even close to the highest. Octograb is the the number one build pick right now, but again, you have to you have to assess the level you're on and who you're up against. If you're up against a Cho'Gall... Um, and you've got, you know, Lee Ming and Vala on your team, you need fucking Octograb. If you're up against what we went against, you know, a bunch of squishy DPSers, do that damage. Rejuvenating Bubble heals you as you bubble. Uh, I think I showed that multiple times how that was worth it. Fish Oil, part of fish cast slime at its location, just helps further do slow for enemy team um, and damage against, you know, what you're trying to siege against. And... Never-ending Murlocs, which I didn't really get to show off. You know, that's kind of a cocky one to pick, but it, it's it's fun. So I hope you enjoyed. Drop me a like if you did. Subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more. Leave me a comment on who you want me to play next. And uh, peace.